Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you a universal way to solve nested radicals. Nested radical means a radical expression, such as square root, cubic root, that contains another radical expression. Here are some examples. We will solve these examples in today's video. You can pause this video and try it by yourself. When you are ready, keep watching this video to see the solution. Here is example 1. First, we let it equal to square root a plus square root b. Here, we require a is greater or equal to b. This is very important. I will show you later. Next, we square them on both sides. For left hand side, we got 3 plus 2 square root 2. For the right hand side, we expand it. I mark this equation in different colors. So the terms without square root equals to the terms without square root. And the terms with square root equals to the terms with square root. Follow the previous slide. We plug in the equation to eliminate b. Then we got a quadratic equation for a. We simplify and factor it. We got a is 2 or a is 1. So we got two solutions. But note that in the very beginning, we require a is greater or equal to b. So we drop the second solution. Then we got the denested result. It equals to square root 2 plus 1. Here you might notice that in the last step, the two solutions actually give the identical answer. Then why we need to drop the second solution? I will show you the reason in example 2. So please keep watching. Let's see example 2. We set the right hand side to be square root a minus square root b because the expression inside the square root is minus sign. Again, we require the same condition here. a is greater or equal to b. Then we square them on both sides. Again, we follow the same procedure here. Then we got two equations. But note here, there's a factor 2 outside the square root. So we need to put the factor 2 inside the square root. Then we get these equations. So follow the previous slide. Again, we eliminate b to get a correct equation for a. We factor it, and then we get a is 7 over 2, or a is 3 over 2. We got two solutions. But be careful about the conditions here. a is greater or equal to b. So we drop the second solution. Then we got the answer here. So from this example, you will see why this condition is important. Because if you by mistake, you take the second solution, the result will be square root 3 over 2 minus square root 7 over 2. This will give a negative number, which doesn't make sense, because the left-hand side of the equation is a positive number. We look at example 3, which is the expression in the very beginning slide. Again, we set it to square root a minus square root b, and we apply the same condition here. So we square it on both sides, and then we expand the right-hand side. But note here, we have to put the factor 6 inside the square root. Follow the same procedure. We solve this quadratic equation. And then we got a equals to 28, or a equals to 18. We got two solutions. Again, we use this condition to drop the second solution. So we got the answer. But be careful, we can further simplify it. So we got 2 square root 7 minus 3 square root 2. So here is our final answer. 
I hope you learn this method, which is very helpful to help you solve these nasty radicals. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you like it.